Morning, Dixie. What do you got? What do you got to chase today? afternoon folks we have all the potatoes we've got one two three four five six seven rows of uh, Pontiac Reds and then we got white potatoes here and since I've got the furrows I went back and I bought some russets and I want to try those Minnesota Reds one more time and uh, which is a good thing in all honesty because I had a camera malfunction when I was covering these I use my Hiller better whatever you want to call it I use that to uh, cover the rows back up after I plant them and uh, I had a camera malfunction, which really made me mad because I've been doing this long enough now to know that you always bring a second camera. So anyway, what I'll show you is some footage from making the furrows and footage, a little bit of footage from planting them, which like I said, is all by hand. And then I'll show you this row, um, the planting and covering up process and then we'll go from there so stay tuned
like russets like a little bit of room uh, to grow so you get a bigger baked potato out of it. And the Minnesotas, I was told to plant them the same way. So we go about 17, 18 inches on those, on the whites and the reds, we go, the Pontiac reds and the whites, we go about uh, 12, 14 inches on them for spacing. cup of 624-24 in between the potatoes in the middle and that has always worked for us pretty much our potato planting process uh, like I said right or wrong who knows there's lots and lots of different ways I've seen people do it but this has always worked for us we've been doing potatoes here for um, I think this is the 17th year so it works why well, fix it if it isn't broke um, and now I'll get to the footage that I wanted you to see when we were down here the other day and uh, I'll show you covering these things back up but if it rains believe it or not I would love to get rained out um, we are almost to the point where I could say we're desperately in need of rain um, it is went from 50s and rain almost every day so we haven't had a drop and oh i don't know i think it's been a couple of weeks now so uh stay tuned i'll get you the footage from covering these things up and then uh, we'll go on with the rest of the day
we have eight rows. Uh, somebody will ask, and I don't know. Maybe I'll bring my long 100-foot tape up later. So I don't know how long these rows are. Um, I'd say 75 to 100 feet. So that's actually slick. And making the furrows is slick. It's just, it wasn't that many years ago. We did most of this by hand. Uh, While well, the covering up, we did all by hand with hose and digging up. We used to dig them up with a pitchfork. And it's just a really nice thing having equipment to do this kind of stuff with. Um, it's not near as back backbreaking as it used to be. I mean, now don't get me wrong. We didn't plant this many potatoes when we did it by hand. Um, we planted two, maybe three rows at best. Um, but anyways, that's a little insight into how we put our potatoes in the ground. Right or wrong, it works for us, like I said, so we're not going to change the way we've been doing it. And I appreciate everybody watching, so we'll see you in the next video.